Yo, it's Duff for the Cloud Chaser TV, man. We back up in this thing again, you dig? Hey, man, we got some news to report when it comes down to Fat Joe. Now, Fat Joe been in the news basically the past two weeks in regards to Big Pun life rights. Um, He losing the case, apparently, in all the, um, you know, as far as the music, the life rights went back to the family, you know, uh, Big Pun's wife. And um, it's a deal being worked out, I guess, behind the scenes that involves a guy by the name of Wack 100. And, um, you know, it's been a lot of social media back and forth, as well as Charlie Charlie Rock, you know, LD, and came out and speak on the situation via uh, MREC platform, right? And um, Fat Joe basically coming in and, and speaking on some of that situation, as well as y'all ain't seen the Cuban link. Like, we did an interview with Cuban link maybe a few days ago. It's definitely on the channel. Also, we got an interview today with Don Leasy. He's going to speak on... The murder unit, the Hot 97 shooting, Nori, the lingo, you know, all the above, man. It's definitely going to be one of those moments for the culture. So y'all tune in tonight. But uh, back to it, Fat Joe. So Fat Joe, you know, he goes to social media, goes to Instagram and say that a lot of people was capping when it comes to storytelling. You know, a lot of people talk about how Fat Joe tells story and drip off, drift off the subject and you know, leave people spent. But um, I'm going to play the footage. Y'all get in the comments and y'all let me know what y'all think about this situation when it comes to Fat Joe, you know, um, explaining this stuff in regards to Cuban Link, Charlie Rock, LD, as well as uh, Big Pun's wife. Let me know, gang. So on the street side, gangsters, I really did this. You can't find uncles and think that's going to lie to you and tell you I really ain't do this thing, right? Now in hip hop, I really was cool with Biggie. I really know Tupac. I ain't no Tretch. I, you know, and I've been around relevant all these. I'm just did rolling loud. It's so relevant. God bless. Alhamdulillah. That I've been around for all this time. So when I get to turning this IG on. And start telling you these stories. I see guys saying, Cap, Joe and LeBron lies. Uh, this, this, that. Bro, I'm a grown ass man. You can't catch me in Cap. In fact, if I catch a grown man capping, I won't respect them no more. Besides the lawyers. The lawyers cap all day. Right? You know, I've been, I've, I've been in meetings... Two lawyers going against my lawyer. This embarrassing. And they both just start lying to each other and shit. Yo, okay, my bag. You got me. Okay, my bag. That's what lawyers do. You pay them the cap. Now, listen. But I don't do that as a man. If I catch a man lying, I do not respect him no more as a man. I don't respect your father. I don't respect your kid. I don't if you're lying. And so when I tell these stories, I see some people, you know, shout out to the hip hop wolf. They be posting stuff up and then guys be in there. Yo, he's cap. He's cap. Bro, all my shit verified. But now we have to understand there's some people that are simple minded. There's some guys that unfortunately they're cowards. They never got bullied by 20 and got up and fought back. They just got punched and kept it moving. They got guys, you got guys who are intelligent, but were scared to go for their dreams. They were scared to take the chance to go for their dreams. You know, everybody, so you don't understand. So when you talking this shit, or you throwing on some Christian Dior Puffy shit looking like the Michelin man. No, it's on there. You see it with your eyes. You have eyes. Looking like a Michelin man. Puffy and shit. Looking like a, a tongue. With the shoe surgeon Easter egg joints. And so. Oh. This that. Yo bro. You got to understand. Most people. Maybe 99% of the people, and this is no disrespect, shop at Walmart. They do not buy Dapper Dan, Gucci, Louis, uh, 
They just don't. I wish they could afford it, but some of them can't. And so when you get to telling these extravagant stories and I was, they don't understand the shit. Make, oh, he got to be lying. He's got to be, he did what? Oh, he's got to be lying. This guy right here, he's got to be, no, bro. If you got slapped and walked it off, that's you, buddy. I'm not that guy. Does this make sense? And so some people, they just so simple-minded. Where, I get it, you can't. Sometimes I got to look at them and I got to be like, I'm like, And I'm like, these people have eyes. And then I also realize, and I hate to use this word, but people are going to hate him whatever you do. And you can't please everyone. You just can't. And so yesterday, I'm in a foreign land. I'm in Dubai. I read about the Middle East when I was in the projects. Last thing I would have ever thought I would see a Cleopatra or somebody in the Middle East. Like, I cannot believe I'm here. And I've been coming here for 20 years. I have family here. And so we're giving it out to our people, right? And sure enough, I look at the comment, yo, people starving in the U.S. Or, yo, people this, bro. Damn if you do, damn if you don't. And so me, I try to stay aligned. I see Gumbo in the building. I don't know how I'm not in that 420 show, Gumbo. Luca, Alexis Alert. I don't know if it's breaking news, Fat Joe. At the, I don't know if you're trying to call me last hour so I could pull in the Willis Reed. I don't know what y'all doing there. But you, you, you don't have access to the guy who shut down the whole rolling loud Thailand. Who's shutting down the Inglewood Arena in L.A. on Friday. Who's doing halftime at the Knicks game off of... I mean, you, you, you can't have access to the biggest in the game and don't use them. And you got a lot of great artists on there. A lot of great artists. But you ain't got Fat Joe on that flyer. This is a problem. So do you understand Forest Projects, BX Borough? I've traveled to lands that we read about in textbooks. And I don't discriminate with the love. I love everybody who's respectful, who's righteous, who wants to do something positive, who takes care of their family. And so, and that's it. And so, with, but the people going to hate for everything. They find a reason to hate everything. And then you realize, man, these guys, man, there's some terrible people. Are, man, I might just keep going. You know what I'm saying? I'm not even, <laughs> I'm not even. <laughs> Shout out to DeMar Hamlin. He's back after the heart attack on the football field. Young brother suffered the heart attack. They had to stop the NFL for the first time ever in life. And now the man is cleared to come back and play football. Uh, and you know football is a hard sport. So I, we got to pray for this young brother. He got the heart to come back. That's what I'm talking about. This guy got the heart to come back. He had a heart attack. On the football field, he know he not he not just survived it. He's coming back to play full contact. He's not a coward. He's not a coward. Yo, game, what's up, baby? The game in the building, L.A. West Side. Yo, gang, what's up, baby? 
my motherfucking brother. Uh, shout out New Jersey Devil. Um, nah, y'all, <laughs> y'all gumball, you playing with me, man? Come on.